Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency after Bitcoin, but if you had to explain Ethereum features and functions to someone else, what would you say? Keep watching, we've got you covered. As you already know, Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency to enable peer-to-peer -peer payments without the need for a centralized authority. Ethereum is a second generation blockchain. In a way, Ethereum carried forward the ideas and concepts that were introduced by Bitcoin. The goal of Ethereum is to further advance use cases for blockchains and to allow for more peer-to-peer -peer payments. Ethereum is an operating system for decentralized applications, most commonly known as dApps. So for people who love the idea of a decentralized open source world, Ethereum is the perfect example of that. Now, did you know Ethereum was actually started via crowdfunding? Vitalik Buterin, a programmer and Bitcoin enthusiast, came up with the idea in 2013. He lacked the funds and turned to crowdfunding. And by 2015, Ethereum was created and publicly traded. And that's led us to where we are today. So if you love smart contracts, you'll also love Ethereum. So where did the concept come from? Well, the idea behind smart contracts was introduced by a computer scientist and cryptographer, Nick Charbo, in 1996. He wanted to provide a secure and trustworthy way for contracting between strangers on the internet, while making traditional contracts less expensive and more secure at the same time. Technically speaking, almost cryptocurrency agreements use smart contract technology. Billionaire investor Mark Cuban is an advocate for Ethereum smart contracts and was quoted in 2021 saying that Ethereum can unlock a host of potential business applications that just wouldn't be possible with Bitcoin. You may have heard of the technical standard for an Ethereum smart contract, ERC20. Computers in the decentralized Ethereum network have two functions, to record transactions and to produce smart contracts. For implementing tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, the technical standard used for smart contracts is ERC20. Ethereum actually offers not one, but multiple use cases. These include the cryptocurrency Ether. Tokens, Ethereum is and will likely remain the most important platform for token creation and was commonly used in the ICO craze of 2017. DApps and CryptoKitties. DApps are built on the Ethereum blockchain. The advantage of a DApp is that its computation is decentralized. Developers are charged in Ether for using computing power in the network. And one of the best in applications running on Ethereum network is one of the world's first blockchain games, CryptoKitties. The game allows users to buy, sell, breed, and collect virtual kitties. The game uses ERC721 tokens and the standard of Ethereum. The ownership structure of CryptoKitties is tracked by the smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. But there are more real world use cases that I'd like to share with you also. Digital identity, identity theft and other issues involving privacy and security risk pose a threat to every user on the internet. Unique identities and patterns of these enable others to detect individual entities or their devices. However, digital identities could help combat this problem. One of the most disruptive use cases for the Ethereum network is the concept of a decentralized identity ecosystem. Decentralized identities are independent from any centralized registry and under full control of the owner who created the ID in the blockchain without the need for intermediaries. A blockchain identity relies on self-sovereign management across all boards and is anchored to a zero trust database. Another use case for the Ethereum blockchain is an end-to-end -end real estate transactions. Utilizing blockchain greatly reduces engineering time and also complexity in creating and executing legally binding agreements for selling and also purchasing real estate. Using the Ethereum blockchain as a buyer and seller can also negotiate in a complete deal without the need for a third party. Currently, there are around 1,000 applications running on the Ethereum network. However, the technology offers a vast spectrum of future use cases that are yet to be explored and utilized in all areas, with potential to use tokenized assets in supply chains, logistic operations, gaming, data storage, and so much more. But there is a cool fact, many major companies have actually started to place stakes in Ethereum as well. Companies like Microsoft, HSBC, and Barclays all have found uses for Ethereum in their systems. It's clear that everyone's beloved Ether will be increasingly relevant in big business models in years to come. However, though, that remains to be seen. So the opportunities really are endless. 
Let me know your favorite Ethereum use case in the comments below. Well, that's all for this video. We have plenty of other videos like this on our channel. So subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to keep up to date with our regular content.